add this to your bed water to return evil arrows back to the sender and get rid of every form of projection every form of witchcraft attack and become untouchable add this to your bed water and no man born of a woman will be able to harm you or kill you add this to your bed water and get unusual protection return evil arrow back to the sender and no man born of a woman can harm or kill you by god's grace today's video i wish to share with you spirit simple spiritual bath you will do evil people will begin to run away from you no man born of a woman will be able to harm you and you will be protected and fortified and then your second name will be touch me not and die not if only you follow me to the end of today's video i will share that information with you but before then please give this video a thumbs up so that youtube algorithm will shift it to other people that need it as you do so may god bless you so welcome once again to jenny action tv in this particular channel i'll discuss three important variables which are actually has safety and spirituality believe me if you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life the sky will not be your limit it becomes your starting point if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you're highly welcome Come, welcome please do it to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that youtube will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers i love you so much thank you for always stopping by for my new timers you're searching for any video all you need to do is go through the side button in youtube type jenny jenny action tv it's like the keyword of the video you are looking for for example for money you get the videos that are made about money in the past you watch and get some value so without wasting time let's delve right in the first item you need for this spiritual bath is actually alligator pepper. Alligator pepper is one powerful fruit that God has blessed us with. There is an adage that says that alligator pepper does not go on a shameful journey. It means that there is no errand you will send to this alligator pepper that it will not go and come back for you. Because actually alligator pepper is not just any seed but it's actually a spirit. You can actually send it errand because God has given us dominion mandate to dominate, subdue and replenish the earth. We have the authority to use all the things he has created both physically and spiritually and accomplish a, a lot of tasks and that's why the Bible said in 1 Corinthians 10 31, do everything to the glory of God. The most important things that you give God is due place in your life and then just the way you cook your food and eat you use the spiritual item and get supernatural results now this alligator pepe when you bring it for the first time don't just start using it first of all pray on it dedicate it consecrate it for spiritual use because you wouldn't know different places and different hands that touch it and one of the best ways to actually consecrate it and make it more powerful is that you bury it at least seven three to seven days inside the soil and then dig it out make sure that where you buried it is not where water will touch it when you do that you have one way or the other a kind of bring it out as if it is a new item that nobody have ever touched just as the same way we plant seed and assume so every negative energy will go back to the soil and then you will bring it out when you are doing it talk to you that as i bury you i am I, I pray that god will use it, use you to work for me may you remain here until when i come if not you may be shocked that when you come there you won't see it then when you have done that but now that we are in rainy season that it may be hard for some places for you to consecrate it that way take it to the early morning sun face the early morning sun and say oh god just as you ask moses what is it that you have in your hand so that you now use it to deliver him that this is what i have in my hand may you use this alligator pepe to fortify me deliver me from every satanic attack and make me untouchable then you now pray very well then you now introduce yourself and say i daughter of so 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 you call your name that hereby as i use this may it work for me and not work against me to silence all my enemies and be a tool of liberation for me just as the same way we use the anointing oil that's the same way we use all these natural materials and then spiritual and spiritual form 
to work. Then when you are opening alligator pepper for the first time, so long as you are using it for spiritual use, because you have a lot of health benefit, there is difference between using it for health benefit and spiritual use. Open it from your back. Don't open it from your front. Give it that regard as a spirit that it is. Then all you need to do is use your a kind of tip of your finger to make a little bit hole. Don't allow any seed of it to fall. If any of them fall on the ground, keep that one. Use it as for health benefit. Get another one. So all you need to do is just use your finger and open it a little bit. That's all. And then bring it in your front. Count out 21 seed, 21 seed, and keep it aside. Then that is what you are going to use for this work of fortifying yourself to remain untouchable. Then you get send leave like this and count out, in other words, pluck out 21 good leaves like this and keep aside. Then the third thing you actually need is these clothes. Close spiritual is a spiritual, it's an arrow. That is why you see it looking like a nail. You are like returning any evil arrow back to the sender. Whenever you are using clove, it's powerful and you manifest abundance, connection. There is nothing you cannot manifest with clove. So you count out 21 pieces too. So having done this 21 pieces, then put it in a pot of water that is enough for rinsing but not batting then you boil it like 20 minutes allow it to cool down when you are going out especially when you notice some battles strange battles around you in the office people hate you they are ganging up against you they are sending arrow there are shams and invocation in that office then boil it very well allow it to cool down put your right middle finger and pray everything you want adding one spoon of kitchen salt declaring that any man or woman on this earth that is planning evil or sending evil arrow against me that the only way you will be free from that evil arrow hitting you back and destroying you is if you have never eaten salt in your life but so long as you have eaten salt any arrow you send to me goes back to you seven times because Bible even said in Deuteronomy 28 verse 7, you know, Deuteronomy, the name I like on is dethrone your enemy. Dethrone your enemy, 28 verse 7. That's one way would they go, seven ways would they go back. Then you pray very well. Read Psalm 35, Psalm 46, and if you want, you can actually add Psalm 140, depending on the time available to you inside that water. Then after you bet, use it as a rinsing bet. You can do this bet either in the morning or night. Especially if you have some people working against you in the daytime, where you're going, you do it. But where you're not seeing anybody working against you, you do it in the night. Then if you are traveling, this is one of the best bets you can do to fortify yourself and be sure of protection against every form of negative energy. Allow that water to dry in your body with your soup with your sponge, with your towel in your body, with your cream in. The same item, use it for three days before discarding it. By God's grace, no evil, no power will be able to stand you. And then, even if you are not having any challenge anywhere, prevention is always better than cure. This is one bath you should be doing at least once every month. Do it, bring out three days and do it. And by God's grace, no man born of a woman we throw you arrow, it will work. We poison you, we sham you to work. Every evil arrow will go back to the sender and your life will be free from every attack. And when you finish that bat, then when you want to throw away that alligator people with the shaft of that particular other shaft, declare that you are sending it on errand because it's a spirit. It doesn't go on a shameful journey. That because you receive it out to throw it away, sending it on errand to fish out all the people that are working against you, all the people that are after your life, and bring them down. But make sure that your hand is clean, that you are not also planning evil or doing evil against somebody. Because if you are doing it, you know, nature is very, very serious with sewing and reaping. It may come back as a reprisal attack because the attack you may be suffering may be at you reaping what you have sowed. And that is why spiritual cleansing is very, very important to cleanse all your errors spiritually so that even if you are bad before, you are doing evil before, you will be free from it. By God's grace, one of these days, I'm going to share a powerful spiritual cleansing bed that when you do it, it will wipe all your errors spiritually so that any spiritual work you do 
we have be very very effective without hindrance or without any form of reprisal attack if you have done evil before you wipe it out and decide to live our right without doing any form of evil so with this i've actually come to the end of today's video believing that somebody has actually found value if you're one of those why not give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload comment on this video share this video and channel it to everyone i shall be helping a lot of people as to do so may god bless you now you cause it to ride upon the high priest of this is still your lady jenny saying